Welcome back to a linguistic approach to English grammar. In this video, we're going to introduce our first phrase, the adjective phrase. Now, a phrase consists of at least one word. So, if we have an adjective, that builds into an adjective phrase. And that adjective phrase can contain an adjective, it must contain an adjective, but it can also contain, say, modifiers, post modifiers, complements, and other things that we'll discuss as we move on. So, the requirement for adjective phrases is that they must have an adjective. So if you have an adjective, it builds up into an adjective phrase. So here's some examples. If we have the adjective healthy, we would label healthy as an adjective. And because that's the only adjective we have here, we don't have, say, a degree word modifying it. This just builds straight up into an adjective phrase. We also have an adjective of color here, red, and an adjective of material here, wooden. So these are all examples of adjectives that we've seen. The only difference is that they build up into the adjective phrase. So like I said, adjective phrases can be modified by our degree words or degree adverbs. So for example, if we have very happy, we see that the adjective phrase splits into two things. It splits into the adjective. This is what's known as its head. So the head determines the category. So if we have an adjective phrase, the head of the adjective phrase is an adjective. And it also splits into our degree adverb here, very, which is what we could call a modifier. So this is saying how happy something is. Now, a lot of our modifiers, like degree words, do not have their own phrases, at least at this point. So we can treat a degree as just being an individual word that modifies an adjective. Here's another example. Uh, quite excited. So excited would be our adjective. Because we have an adjective, we have to build it up into an adjective phrase. So here we have the head. And then we also have our degree adverb, quite, which is a modifier telling us how excited someone is. Now, you may see other resources just call these, instead of degree words, they may just call them adverbs here in this position. You will see either notation. The one thing that I would say is that adverbs typically build up into phrases, but adverbs in this position do not build up into phrases. And that can be just a confusing point, which is why I typically use the term degree instead of adverb in order to separate those. Degrees do not build into their own phrases, but adverbs do build up into adverb phrases. And we'll take a look at that at some point. So, what do adjective phrases do? Well, their main job is to modify nouns. So we haven't talked about the noun phrase yet, but this is an NP. This is called a noun phrase. Every noun phrase has a head, which is a noun. So say we have cool friend, where cool is describing friend. Well, the noun phrase has a noun head. So this is like the most important word in our noun phrase. We're talking about a friend. And this noun phrase splits up into its head and its modifier. So the adjective phrase here is a modifier on friend. And that adjective phrase consists of the word cool. Now, what's important to see here is that it's not just the adjective that modifies the noun. It's the entire phrase. So for instance, if we have a adjective phrase, which is extremely disappointing, so we have the noun phrase extremely disappointing episode. When we think about what is modifying episode in this sentence or in this phrase here, it is the entire adjective phrase. The episode is extremely disappointing. So that is why we have the adjective phrase and not just the adjective or just the degree modifying the noun. We have this entire unit, the adjective phrase modifying the noun. So this is how we can see adjective phrases in our sentences. And of course, they can appear as complements as well. So he is extremely disappointing or he is cool. And we'll cover that structure when we talk about different verb types. So let's find all the adjective phrases in this exercise. As always, you can pause and do this first. I will read it out and then we'll find it. Okay. It was a cold night. The windows frosted over and made the room quite chilly. If it wasn't for my best friend who brought me nice warm blankets, I might have gotten super sick. Okay, let's find the adjective phrases here. First sentence, it was a cold night. 
So here we have an adjective phrase for cold. It consists of just the adjective cold and it talks about the night. So it's modifying this noun, night. The windows frosted over and made the room quite chilly. Okay, so frosted over is a phrasal verb. Made is another verb, the room quite chilly. Okay, so here we have another adjective phrase, quite chilly. So quite is a degree word and chilly is an adjective. Now, what noun is it modifying? Well, this is a case where the adjective phrase comes after the noun that it modifies. So we have this one talking about the room. So this is an adjective in a predicate position rather than an attributive position. Hey, if it wasn't for my best friend who brought me nice warm blankets, I might have gotten super sick. So we have a few different adjective phrases here. Uh, the first one is best. So this is an adjective phrase that consists of just an adjective describing the noun friend. Uh, best is what's called the superlative version of the word good. So instead of saying good, gooder, goodest, we say uh, good, better, best. And those are all adjectives. Okay. Who brought me nice warm blankets. Oh, okay, so here, nice warm blankets. Here we have two separate adjective phrases. And they can be conjoined to make one a big adjective phrase if we were to say nice and warm blankets. Uh, so putting and in the middle, we would have a nice conjoined one. But if they're separated by commas, we just say that these are both independently modifying the noun blankets. So we can have more than one adjective phrase in a sentence. So we could say nice, warm, blue, woolen blankets. And that would be four different adjective phrases modifying the word blankets. Okay, the next one, I might have gotten super sick. And here is our last adjective phrase. Let me just get rid of some of the writing here so we have space. So super sick, super sick. So if you're not a native English speaker, this construction might be a little new because typically he is super, he is sick. That would be two different adjectives. But in this case, super is a degree word modifying the adjective sick. So how sick, super sick, how sick, a little sick. So that would be another demonstration there. And this is another adjective phrase acting in a predicate position. So it's modifying the noun I, and you can see it's separated from I. Okay, so that's it for adjective phrases. As we go throughout the course, we might make these phrases a little bit larger, but from a point of perspective where we go through the playlist in video order, uh, I'm trying not to introduce things before we've seen it in the video series. So if you're thinking, what about these more complicated situations? Check the playlist on the channel further down in the playlist. There might be some more videos that discuss those constructions.